Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. So in this video, we will learn how to split columns and we have two examples. So we will be following PQ5 split columns workbook. So we have two examples here. First, I will use parse URLs example and then we will use separating text fields. So let's open this workbook. All right, so from the navigator window, as I told you that the strategy is to select the table if we have a table from the workbook. So we import this table, which contains uh, one website URL, which has a lot of URLs in that particular website, uh, categories and subcategories. So we will transform that data and we will extract the categories and subcategories names and we will delete the irrelevant information. So the purpose of to clean here is that if you can see uh, you will find uh, there is a common category is available here of food and color every time so we want food and color which is the main category in a separate column and the and after that there is a subcategory for each of the hyperlinks so we want that in a separate column and we don't want this uh, url as well so we will delete that column after splitting so how to split based on a delimiter now what is delimiter delimiter is a common character which is available and we make that delimiter as a base to split our data so in this particular example our common point or a delimiter is slash so i will right click on this column and from this contextual menu i will go to split column and i will use by delimiter option okay okay so from this window we have to do certain changes so here we have some common delimiters available but not a slash which we want so we will select custom here and in the custom we will type that delimiter or subcategories again for the main categories we will do the same thing for this particular column right click split, split column by delimiter and we will write slash here right most delimiter and it will split that as well now we don't want this first column so we will remove this column and also we don't want this urls which are coming again so i will open this filter menu and i will just uncheck this option and i will press ok this means that we have excluded that particular thing we can also rename the headers as well just double click on it and we can say that this is the category and then we have subcategories so we have just transformed our data and we have used these split column techniques subcategory and after that if you want to load that you can load by clicking on close and apply and if you want to rename the table name so you can just right click and rename that as well split columns okay. so let me click on close and apply now it will load the data here and then we will move towards the one more example of splitting the columns so it will take some few seconds to read the data and uh, load to the data model all right so 58 rows has been successfully loaded so for next example let's go to get data from excel workbook now we will use separating text fields for Excel workbook. So I will click on open. And here I will select table one. Okay. And what we will do is we have uh, uh, information in just one column. We want to split this information into three different columns. So we have got item numbers on the left side, item names at the middle and SKU sizes on the right side. So let's transform this data. So I will click on transform data. It will open a power query editor window again so now we want to split it based on item number item name and item size okay so right click and we will go to split by delimiter again and in this particular example the delimiter is a space so we will say that a split so we have selected a space here and we will say that split based on leftmost delimiter so space which is available at the at the leftmost side will make sure that all the item numbers will get splitted so i will press ok so as now you can see that all the item numbers has been splitted now we will again select this column right click and go to split column by delimiter 
and this time we will have same delimiter which is a space and we will select rightmost delimiter so SKUs will get splitted right so this is how we have successfully splitted uh, information into three different columns as required by us okay thank you